Welcome back. Hey, you've had some good bikes on this show. We've had some incredible bikes. I'd have loved to try that Tremota that Polly got to ride. Oh. It's incredible. Me too. What about Helen Skelton's road bike review? I like that. Old yeah. Helter Skelton, yeah, as the caller. Yeah, they pretty cool, but none of them are even on the same level of coolness as the bike that we're about to build. It's a level of coolness that I was trying to get to. This is what I'm building to, because none of those bikes can be ridden on water. To the lab. I can't wait for this build. We're going to turn this A-Zub recumbent tandem into a boat bike. Isn't it? A great build idea. And it's actually, beauty. despite looking quite complex, it's relatively straightforward. Basically, we've had a couple of these brackets built, uh, which we're going to use to attach to sailboards, which, believe it or not, straight up, we got for free because a local board hire shop were chucking them out. We're going to connect them to the bike and then hopefully we'll be water bound. We will. The brackets have been made from tubular steel poles, which have been fabricated and fettled so they can easily attach to the tandem and provide a sturdy and sleek mount for our sailboards. And there's something about bolting poles of steel together that seems to have got Jason all excited. Oh, I love that. OK, my mounts are secure. Good. Let's put the sailboard on. OK, got it. Yes, you in? You're in. Oh! Ho, ho. In. Sailboards stay afloat because their density is less than water. Yes. OK, I bet this is a good camera angle. <laughs> so these two boards should prevent us from sinking. Oh, Manliness! Yeah. Brute force. There you go. Well, the sailboards are nicely in place. Should we show them the, the thing? Oh, so the I thing. want to show you them know, the thing. thing. Stiff that. Oh, yeah. Drop oh, yeah. Drop them down, drop them down. Oh! <laughs> That is transportation mode. This is us in the high street. No one would even know that it was a boat. <laughs> All right, they might guess, but isn't that a brilliant feature? So with our boat bike, we can ride on the land and we can float in the sea, but we're going to have to propel ourselves some way. And that's why we came up with this propeller shaft. It's absolutely brilliant, this thing. Such a simple concept. That little rubber grommet there sits on the wheel, and as we pedal, the shaft spins and the propeller goes round. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? It's friction powered. Look, I'm not going to pretend that everyone could manufacture something as, as elegant as this. I mean, this is what you get when you've got Boffins and the Gadget Show team working for you. But you could make this thing out of some plumber's pipe. It's as simple as that. You must remember to attach that. And we continue with our easy engineering approach. <sighs> oh, your head? heads. Oh, well, you're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm well hard. With the design for the rudder to steer oh, our chameleon craft. Draw out. So this is going to make us a central hub that covers the spokes and means that when we turn the wheel, the wheel will act as a rudder. Isn't that genius? Nice. Excellent. Put a hole in there, pop it on there. That is the perfect rudder. Perfect. Hey, I can see it now, me and my banana hammock, you with your old the shoulder boulder holder. All right, Clacton, here we come. Let's go. Come on. Clacton on Sea was just too far to cycle to, so instead we headed to Bartley Green Reservoir to put our amphibious bike to the test. On the road with our boards up, our tandem felt a little heavy yet perfectly balanced. But how would it perform on the water? OK, deploying float! Roger that! <laughs> The front of our sailboards are slightly curved up, so they should prevent us from ploughing under the water. Time for the moment of truth. OK, here we go. Pedal, OK. Pedal, pedal, stop pedaling. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh, we're in. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let me get the propeller down. That is amazing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting totally splashed. I'm going to go this way. Look, <laughs> the rudder <laughs> works really brilliantly. It's awesome. We have invented um, something truly, truly useful. High flies. It worked so well! Everything was going swimmingly. In fact, it was going so well, Rachel decided she'd like to have a go at the helm, piloting our wonderful creation. I wonder if we could swap. Let's try and swap. I'll put the brakes on! <laughs> put the brakes on! <laughs> Absolutely remarkable. Now that I was at the rear and in control of the propeller, a thought crossed my mind. You must remember to attach that. Did I tighten that bolt? And before I knew it... Stop! Houston, we have a problem. What? We've lost our propeller. Oh, dear. Are we up a creek without a paddle?
With our propeller gone, our pedalling was producing no propulsion. Can we have that oar? But fortunately, the crew had a spare paddle, so we didn't have to abandon ship. OK! Forward! Oh, this, this isn't what we had in mind. No. Oh, well. And once we managed to get close to the reservoir's edge, it was time for one last push to see if we could go from watercraft back to road bike in just the push of a pedal. Full power. Oh, my God. Oh, go for oh, it. Go, oh, go, 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 we should put this thing into production. Yeah, I'd you know. buy one. I would buy one. And if you want to make one or any of our previous builds, you can go to On Demand 5 and catch up with all the stuff we've done before. But that's it. We've ended on a high. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you next time for more Gadget Show goodness. If we set off now, we can probably make the coast. OK, let's go. Yeah.